All right, guys, it's Dokkan time, and today the legendary Extreme Challenge campaign has finally come to global with the EZA for Krillin. Yes, Krillin is here, and uh, oh, wait a sec. There I am. Anyways, so Krillin is here. <laughs> Krillin is here, and he is a pain in the butt to EZA because you have to bring these ridiculous set of units, as you can see on the screen, to actually get him to EZA. And we're going to run through this and see if we can get it done. Um, so it looks like they did lower the value of like Debora and Nappa so it can be much cheaper for you to get. Uh, the sale only lasts until September 4th. Fourth, so just keep that in mind. People should probably try to get this guy done as soon as possible. But the easy area is out right now. You can get up to 20 freaking stones. 25, 30, 35 stones. Holy crap, that's a lot of stones, bro. <sighs> Anyways, your uh, your uh, required stamina is also halved. And uh, yeah, we got a whole bunch of other events popping up from here. Other extreme Z areas for these units. Uh, attempt available per day during the event period. Come fully active. LR Krillin's power. Uh, Fizz hidden potential event every day. That's awesome. Okay. So, let's go ahead and go... Try to go jump into it if we can. I have all of my stamina saved up. Just for this little bald man. Just for this little bald man. Alright, where's the little bob? There's the little... Wait. There are all these stages above. Uh, Hold up. Where's Krillin? Krillin! Hello! There you are. I'm so confused. <laughs> um, Let's just go ahead and finish this one real quick and see what happens, I guess. Um, for some odd reason, the challenge isn't dropping. Maybe this will actually help somebody. <laughs> I'm mostly just going through this because I want to make sure people can see for themselves how difficult or easy this can be. I think this is just a thing because I, I, <laughs> I'm I doing this right before the official login period for the game. So let's see, let's see if we can just burn through this super duper quickly. Try to burn through it as quickly as entirely possible. Obviously, this is a free-to-play event, though, uh, so please do keep your expectations in check. If you are not somebody that has gone through all of the events of all of these EZA characters, if this isn't, uh, you know, if you haven't taken the time to actually finish all of these units and all of these free-to-play events, do not expect to get this. It, it's just because it's a quote-unquote free-to-play event for you to... Uh, just kind of go and grab does not mean that it's going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy and you're just going to get out of there like it was nothing no it does take a bit of effort you do need to grind you do need to get free to play units um it's not something that's so easily done you do have to try you do have to try you can't just blitz through it because they don't even allow you to bring in um new units or dokkan fest units it's a completely completely free to play event that you have to actually try um i know a lot of people get discouraged when they're like oh i want to get this unit because he's useful for literally one bloody thing and in krillin's case it'd be world tournament <laughs> uh but he's actually probably one of the most worst easy a's to get hey wow that was a level nine okay game thanks Let's see if that'll allow me to just immediately go straight over. I might also just need to reset the game. That was quick. There it is. There we go. Yeah. So if it doesn't pop up for you, just do just do the event one bloody time and it should allow you to go right into it. So the Extreme Z area, uh, once you get in here, it's just this one stage. That's all it is. It's just the one stage. Um, let's see here. Does it actually tell people how much you need? Because I, I find it funny. Every time they release an EZA, they never actually tell you how many you need of the unit. And then they just start, like, telling you, hey, you should already kind of know this. 
And it's just a, it's just a kind of a bummer that they do it that way. But the amount of medals that you will need in total will be 45. 45. Just so keep that number in mind. You need 45 of the medals. Uh, let me see here. Let me wipe this list right here. And let's take a look for uh, all of our units, which I ironically have all right here. Yep. We, uh, we made sure to actually have this all saved up and ready to go. Makes it a lot easier to go through. You are 100% stuck with this Zarbon and Dodorio. There are no other options, so you just got to use them. No choice whatsoever. Let's see just how difficult this can be. 45. 45. And we're getting at least maybe four to five of those at a time is my assumption. Ooh. This is already looking pretty grim, not gonna lie to y'all. Um, let's see here. Prodigies. Fear and Faith Brutal be done. Those are much better links. Uh, let's try to make sure Frieza gets his attack in. Uh, I'll give him this. And we'll just barely get the easy A with Vegeta. We'll just barely get... Uh, easy A. We'll just barely get the super attack with Vegeta. Let's see how much damage we can do with Frieza. 8.7, huh? 8.7. Now, Frieza is literally one of the only units on the team... That actually has uh, the leader skill proccing currently. Um, I believe Vegeta does not. He still did a decent amount of damage. Okay, we got a double super. No crit, though. Okay. So, as long as we got a double super, we, we took double digits, so that's good. So, these two units over here are also getting um, buffs from the lead, obviously, as one of them's the leader. So, let's see here. Nappa gains benefit specifically from acquiring orbs. So, let's see. How many orbs are need? Performs a crit with three critical orbs or five key spheres. Okay, so we want to try and get as five key spheres, if entirely possible. Let's see if we knock out these two orbs and we'll have enough. Yes, we will. We will have five Ski Spheres. Uh, that's six right there, and here's hoping that is enough to uh, do some decent damage here. Wow! Zarbon Dodoria took so much damage. I mean, it's the friend unit, but still. Okay, 5.9. Alright, Nappa, let's see what you can do, boy. Woo! Dang! <laughs> Nappa, my dude! He murked the little bald man. <laughs> he murked the little bald man. That was, uh... <laughs> he, ner he just totally obliterated the little bald man. <laughs> so we got five key spheres. So, or we got five uh, Krillin Easy A orbs. Medals. Words. Um, so that would mean... Oh boy. I didn't think I would be doing math today. <laughs> uh, my brain is not calculated for math. So there's 45. Uh, you get 5 every time and need 45. So that means you will need a to go through a total of 9 times. So we just did it once. So we need to go through 8 more times. We need to go through 8 more times. And um, it costs 25 stamina. So that's going to cost us 200 stamina. We'll be down to only 100 stamina by the time we're done with this. That's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. You're pretty much going into this and hoping and praying to RNGesus that you're going to have Nappa available to beat the LR part of the stage. Um, let's see how this second run goes. And then I think what I'll do is I'll pause the recording and we'll go back to the begin. We'll go back and... Uh, Go back in once we get to the last fight and see how well it goes from there. I'm very curious if the 18 actually could do a lot of damage. Because right now, like, Freeze is just not doing much. Uh-oh. Oh, we might take a lot of damage here. He's under leader, so he would have probably the best defense on the turn. 68k, huh? We only have, like, two or 300. <laughs> two or 300 freaking k HP, so that was, like quarter to a half of our health. Let's see how much 18 does. 18 didn't even do a bar. We lost half of our health. Bro, that's that's crazy. I'm telling you. Only shattering the limit, huh? 
Okay, we at least got a couple links linked up with Zarbon. Give him those six key spheres and hope that he's going to just obliterate the little bald man again. <laughs> uh, okay. Nappa is definitely the best. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, get that crit. Get that crit. He got the crit, man. Nappa is the best unit against... Is He's the best. He is MVP. Nappa is the MVP. I never thought I'd say that. Alright, so yeah, let me, let me just pause this recording. And we will continue the recording once I get to the very last stage I need to do to get um, enough... Oh my god, it only gave me four? That means I'm probably gonna have to do it more. Alright, we'll be right back. All right, we're finally on the last run that I have to do, and it didn't take as long as I thought because there are bonus stages. I'm at 41. I sh I'm pretty much guaranteed five more. I only am down to about 180 stamina. It's not too bad. I started out at max stamina, though, so um, I would say it's definitely about <laughs> freaking 200 stamina to get this done pretty much at least. I have learned, and I'll give you guys some tips here. So, 18 definitely tanks well enough. Like, she's fine. Nappa is pretty much the damage dealer. Like, he's doing all the damage. It doesn't look like it, but because of the way his uh, his passive works, it just does absurd amounts of damage. High, a 50% chance to crit with three or more key spheres. He gets another attack and defense plus 50% with five key spheres. And then he himself and other fizz type units on the team get... Key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 30%. And then another attack and defense plus 10% for Fizz type with 3 or more Fizz Key Spheres. So he's getting a lot of extra random buffs in there that help quite a bit. Uh, Shocking Speed is usually the one that starts proccing. Uh, it only gives him defense. But Brutal Beatdown gives him an 11% attack. And then Shattering the Limit is also a little bit of attack. So if you guys have these, um, these units fully link leveled... I'd say you're pretty decent. Like, I'd say you're pretty good. I don't even think, honestly, we even need him in any other spot. Um, let's just give him all ten of these key spheres and see what happens, man. We might even just one-shot. We might one-shot right now. This this, this would be a very excellent time to one-shot. Is this the last time I'm going to do this stage? Oh, and we got the dodge proc. Ooh, 3.0. I was kind of hoping we'd just kind of insta-kill him, but that's okay. But as you can see, we've knocked out literally half of Krillin's health um, with Nappa alone. Nappa is pretty much the MVP uh, of this stage, straight up. And like I said, as you can see, uh, 18 tanks pretty decently. So uh, so long as you have Nappa up, I mean, you're, you're pretty much going to be fine. As long as he doesn't get locked to the seventh slot, I'd say you'd be okay. I did have a couple runs where... Krillin slot one supers and he just knocks out like half your bloody health right here uh, You don't have a lot of health. I mean this team is not a very coherent team half of the teams not under the leader itself I mean look at that. We are that one super attack. We took almost put us down to half health. That's pretty gnarly um, The good news is of course it's an easy area so, you know, if any of their skills prop off with um, getting seals, with getting stuns, attack lowering, defense lowering, all of it's going to help you out get through this. It's not that bad. It's just really irritating to see that they just be like, here, here's a bunch of random units. Go crazy. Have fun. I'm like, there's no fun in here. It's just kind of random units throwing themselves at Krillin. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely would say that <laughs> one over. Okay, game. Uh, I would definitely say that uh, Nappa is the MVP of this. Like, he he's the only reason you're actually getting through this stage, uh, as long as you focus him. Uh, you could get lucky with some of these other units attacking, but Frieza doesn't do a lot of damage. Um, and then the these two aren't doing much other than lowering attack and defense. I think they do have a chance to stun or seal... I swear I saw one of them seal or uh, stun. It maybe it was a different. It must have been a different unit. Which units? Which one is it? I don't know. It's not worth noting it. All I know is Nappa is actually your MVP of this fight, per s specifically. Uh, so much so that I'll give him a sticker. I'm gonna give him a sticker just because 
This fight would be so much worse if Nappa wasn't built the way that he was. That's not a bad sticker, actually. I kind of like that sticker. <laughs> but he's the MVP of this freaking terrible, terrible event. Um, let's uh, let's just uh, we're we're scrolling here. Let's let's get him awakened. Um, I'll have to take some time on the side to uh, get his last five freaking super attack. Let's do it all in one go. Here we go. Boom, Krillin. Max level rose to 25. Um, let's take a look at him now. Let's see here. So now he's an Earthlings category. Key plus four HP, attack, and defense. 160%. And his uh, super attack is is been... It's gone up. It is now... Let's see here. So... Instead of it being just raising attack and causing colossal damage to all enemies, it's now raising attack and also raises defense for one turn. So he still stacks the attack, but he's raising his defense also on super. And if we go look at his uh, 18 key, it's just he stacks attack and defense. And that doesn't change, actually. So his 18 key is the exact same, except they tacked on greatly lowers attack um, onto that 18 key. Uh, now, let's see here, he has key plus 3, defense plus 160, attack plus 60% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 3% if it is an 18 key super, and then plus an additional key plus 6 on attack and defense plus 60% when facing one enemy only. That's pretty nice, actually. Uh, that means guaranteed a uh, freaking what? You start out of 6 key, you get 6 key when facing only one, so you're propping up at 12, you're automatically 12 keying, you get key plus 3 at the start of the turn, so you're automatically sitting at 15 key if you're fighting one enemy, which does help out quite a bit, um, especially since you're uh, stacking attack and stacking defense on, uh, on his 18 key. You really want to get the 18 key off. He does launch an additional attack that is a 30% chance of becoming a super. That's stupid. Um, and then he launches an additional super attack when facing six or more enemies. And that is literally just for world tournament, basically. So, once again, he's still a pretty good world tournament unit. Um, if you do not have any options whatsoever. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think of the EZA Krillin. Was it even worth it to you? Or is this just a... This is just, just a random event for you to get some stones. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a good day and a good night.